Hi, I'm Ilya Marchenko. I'm Dennis Kudla. I'm Evgeny Donsker. I'm Henry Larson. I'm Peter Torepko, and you're listening to the Game to Love podcast. Welcome back, the Game to Love fans, and we're here. It's the final in Vienna, and, well, what a matchup we have. We have the young Italian versus the young Russian, and who would have thought that we'd be seeing this as the final in Vienna, considering we had a, a, quite a stacked tournament, didn't we? We had 18 players from the top 30, and we're left with Lorenzo Sonego. And Andre Rublev. And Andre Rublev looking to make it five titles in 2020 to, well, put him one ahead of a Djokovic for the year. And uh, they're out on court at the moment. They're just warming up. And yeah, it's going to be an exciting one. Uh, let us know what you think the predictions for this match are going to be. The bookies seem to be heavily favoring Andre Rublev. And considering... Uh, Lorenzo Sonego absolutely demolished uh, Dan Evans yesterday. And he obviously took out Novak Djokovic, but yeah, we don't know if it was uh, the real Novak Djokovic. I mean, but it, he would have struggled still against that s standard of Sonego performance. But he is still, uh, it's still going to be a tight match, I think. I don't think it's going to be as clear cut as the bookies say. I think if Sonego plays that top game again, uh, Rublev's going to have a real hard match on his hands, but it's all about the nerves and how well you handle your nerves. And we know that the big players, they're the ones who uh, end up with the titles. And Rublev, he's no stranger to a final. Four four wins uh, this year already in finals. So he's going to be looking to make it number five. <clears throat> and Lorenzo Sonego going to be looking to make it uh, his second ATP title. And... Yeah, his first ATP 500 title. So this is a real, real big one. Uh, good to see some of the usual suspects there in the chat. We've got Melez in saying, oi, <laughs> and Chris Mears in as well. Let's go, Sanego. And uh, Melez saying, <clears throat> creamed Sanego on the menu for Jax. Well, that's what Melez and Jax are both hoping for because we know in the league, uh, that we're running at the moment. We have uh, Rublev to win, I believe, for Melez and Jackson. If they manage to get that, then they're just sky high at the top of the leaderboard. So well done to both of them if that happens. Uh, just me asking, does Sonego have any chance? I mean, have you been watching him play this, this week so far? Of course he does. I mean, I don't think this is as clear cut as the bookies are making it. They're putting Sonego at, I believe it is, 5.5, .5, which for me was way way too uh bigger odds considering the style that he's been winning in don't forget he just demolished dan evans in straight sets and dan evans actually beat andre rublev early this year i know it might not have been the same andre rublev that's playing right now but it's still a little bit of tennis maths there says well we thought dan evans might give sonego a better match but when someone's playing in that type of a uh, standard of tennis it's hard to beat them. And could this just be one of those freak tournaments where one player who you'd never expected, I mean, look at his stats on hard court this uh, season now. He's now played 11, I believe it is 11 matches, and he's won five. So lost six, and that's obviously including this, this tournament. So before this tournament, not good at all. So it could just be one of these freak tournaments where he just goes through the whole thing and completely demolishes everybody he plays. Is this another Iga Savontek from the French Open? We saw it happen there. We'll just have to wait and see. But guaranteed, Andre Rublev's not going to make it easy for him. And uh, they're just about to kick off just now. And it's going to be Lorenzo Sanego, the Italian, serving first. So we'll see how this one goes. Yes, highly anticipated final. This they've got, uh, well, as much a capacity as they can fill. Uh, I think it's only a thousand people. First shot goes wide from Andre Rublev and uh, Lorenzo Sonego. Good start to the match. 15 love. 
Let us know uh, where you're watching from. Let us know your predictions. If you've got any score predictions, I'm going to go with, I think it's going to go to three sets as well. I think this could be a real close run thing. I think it could be one break for Sonego in the first set and then Rublev, the comeback king. We've seen him do it so many times this year already. I reckon he's going to come back from a set down to win this win this final. But prove me wrong. Nerves may play a part. But Sonego hasn't looked nervous this week so far, and he's played Novak Djokovic. So, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Chris asking, where is JG? Indeed, where is JG? He is, uh, well, he plays football uh, early morning, and uh, he's just on his way back from his football match. So he should be joining us very shortly. He's been he contacting me on his uh, journey home. So he'll be with us as soon as possible. We got Larsa in there, three setter. And then just me saying, I think Rublev will replace Federer and Djokovic generation. Yeah, we was, I mean, we've been speaking about it a lot. I think Rublev is the sort of next uh, breed. He's sort of putting himself into the equation with the Tsitter Pass and with the Medvedevs. And he just needs to perform on the Grand Slams next. And then I think, yeah, this is going to be, he could be the next one. He could be the net one who's now challenging with Dominic Team to grab the Grand Slams. So, 30-15, Sonego. Bit of a KG feeling out process for this first for this first game. So, 30-15. Which side is he going to put it? Is he going to go for a classic down the tee? Rublev standing out wide to the backhand side. Oh, he's served out towards the backhand side and missed. They've only played once before, these two, in the main draw. And uh, I believe it was four years ago, though, and Rublev won in straight sets. Oh, Sonego continuing the power hitting. Great inside-out forehand to finish that one off. This is going to be battle of the power hitters, I think, today. And he's hitting the lines already. And Ivy uh, saying, I hope this is going to be a good match. Let's go. Yeah, I totally agree. We just all we want to see is some amazing tennis. Oh, let service from Sonego trying to close out this first game of this final. Is he going to be able to do it with without Rublev creeping back into this uh, first game? It would be it'd be good to settle the nerves. Here we go. First serve into Rublev backhand. He's gone with the drop shot, brings Rublev in. Rublev's in. Oh, and it's wide with the passing shot, though. Did well to bring Rublev in. That's something we were speaking about, something we thought he might need to do to just get Rublev off that baseline and test him at the net where we don't really see him that often. But the first sign, not that great. He needs to improve that passing shot and just steady the nerves. Needs to get a good serve in here so that he can, yeah, so he can win this first game, really. Get those, get this first ATP 500 final nerves out the system. Here we go. Second serve into the Rublev backhand. It's long and Sonego holds. And there you go. First game, Lorenzo Sonego. Good start. And he'll be happy with his, uh, performance there in the first game not no early jitters that's what you want to see he'd be good to get that under his belt and now he can really attack that rublev that rublev service game so it's quite interesting obviously we were, i was just saying about the fact that sonego's only played 11 hardcore matches this year so far and uh i won won five of them and this tournament is pretty much all of his hardcore matches he's won and Andre Rublev, he has a record of 28 wins, five losses. So that's just goes to show the difference between these two players uh, on hard court this year. I mean, we know Sonego, he's relatively clay quarter, obviously from Italy, but don't put anything past uh, him making the transition. He's obviously showing that he can do the hard court scene now as well. So. 
I think that JG, he's waiting in the wings. He's coming to support his fellow Italian. He's <laughs> his Italian heritage. He's raring for, I believe, Lorenzo Sonego to win this. He really wants uh, an Italian victory. And it's interesting how this first service game for Rublev is going to go. Good all. It's 30 love, and we saw how many games to love yesterday Rublev got. Uh, is he going to do the same today? He was very strong on his serve. And cheers, Chris Mir, for the super sticker. Really appreciate that, Matt. Mate, that's going to push you <laughs> top of our donations board up there. Thomas Rock's going to have to have something to say about that, I, I tell you. Oh, a little volley from Rublev there, and it's 40 love. And could we get our first game to love here? Rublev proving he does have hands at the net there as well. And here we are, Ben. How are we doing? JG makes it in. JG, JG, JG. <laughs> <laughs> and he's, he's arrived. Mate, I'm just here for the game to love. That's what I'm excited for. That's it. He's arrived. And the, see, the viewing figures have already gone up as soon as JG's in. <laughs> and there you go. Our first game to love. JG didn't miss it. Cheers. Cheers. So, and thanks <clears throat> thanks to Just Me, and that's not saying me personally, but the name, Just Me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can give uh, a big thank you to you as well, Ben. You've uh, been carrying the podcast. I You've am. You've done a good I've job been... so far. I've been enjoying the stream. Ah, thanks very much, mate. I appreciate it. I it kept you uh, company on your car ride home from the footy. Uh, yeah, thanks to Just Me. Uh, love both players. They're fantastic. Yeah, appreciate the uh, sticker. Or is it a super chat? Oh, great serve there by Sonego. Unreturnable, that one. Just got a frame on it, Rublev. Chris Mir asking, did I score today? No, I didn't. It was a free all draw, and I missed a one-on-one -on -one as well. So, Ah, uh, no. A bit disappointing. Missed a one-on-one. -on -one. a bottle job, but let's, talk, let's not talk too much <laughs> about bottle jobs, because I was hoping Sonego rises to this challenge today. He could um, well. What a player, mate. What a player, and what a tournament. To see these two in the final, I think, is just crazy. I think you'd be... If it's not one of either Djokovic, Sitter, Pass, Medvedev or team, like no one would have called that. None of them thought to be in either the semi, to be into the final. I know. I, it's it's pretty, pretty mad, isn't it? Or even the <laughs> semis of that. They didn't even make the semis. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. We had Big Kev. We had Andre Rublev. Dan Evans, obviously. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah. Oh, look at Senegal, the way he's served him right now. What? <laughs> just me wants to know what position you're playing. Uh, don't ask, mate. It's more embarrassing. <laughs> it's it's probably worse. I'm a striker. I'm the main uh, striker as well, and I'm still missing chances. Uh, uh, I played quite well, though. I had a good uh, performance, but yeah, good couldn't, hear, couldn't get hear. a goal, which is not good enough. Uh, not if there's three goals gone in and you haven't bagged one of them. I'll create it a few. Uh, that's all right, then. There we go. We're going to have back-to-back -back games to love here, I think. Potentially. Hopefully. Oh, it's a good return from Rublev. Good slice down the line from Sonego. Oh, it's into the net. JG oh. jinxes the game to love, and we don't get one, which is unfortunate. But it's a good sign from Sonego still. He hasn't let the nerves get to him yet. Uh, yeah, what, what is the head-to-head -head between these two? They must have played each other once. Right? Yeah, just when just they were once. younger. Yeah, this was four years ago, and uh, Rublev came out on top in that one uh, straight set. But I believe it was on clay, I think. All right. I, I believe so. Let me just double check that. I think I, I read it yesterday. I haven't looked again today. Mate, Rublev must be so excited. Yeah, it was. The prospect of having Sonego in a final. I don't want to be disrespectful to Sonego, but if you could choose anyone in this tournament, you'd think it would have been him at the beginning of it. But Yeah, well, if you see the way he's the way he's playing, it's going to be still a really tough game, uh, it's a tough match. What he Sonego did to Djokovic is just the most bizarre thing I've seen in 2020. And we've had a crazy year as well. <laughs> what he did to Dan Evans as well. Yeah. That's what I mean. Ribler was probably watching that thing and please come back, Dan. I, need, I don't want to play this guy in the final. Thomas Rock's in. Yay. Hey. Hey. He's How's getting worried. He's seen Chris Mir take the number one spot on the donators page and he's gone there with a little super chat. How you uh, doing, good. mate? Nice one. Just me wants us to put on some football matches as well. <laughs> <laughs> You never know. What Mate, you future? never know. I think we've, well, in the UK right now, for most of you guys, I'm sure you've seen the news, we're going into a lockdown. Yeah. So um, there's not really much optimism right now uh, going around. So the best thing we can do 
is just do as many podcasts as we can. Uh, it's good for interaction for us. We're at home and it's nice to talk to you guys and talk about tennis. And I think that's the thing, isn't it? This, type, this sort of stage in the world's in at the moment and the fact that everybody's getting locked down, I think that's what we're trying to bring to the world is just sense of community through a bit of positivity podcast. as well. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you can have we, a beer, watch us talk rubbish, yeah, and enjoy some it. tennis. We're trying to create a little bit like a pub atmosphere. So you're down <laughs> the pub with your mates watching the tennis, and yeah, we're all like the one big group of friends, and that's what that's what the whole game to love ethos is. You come join with us, and we're all we're all mates here. So and the yeah, best thing love- is, it's allowed as well. It's not even illegal. Yeah. Morris won't be coming in to drag you out. <laughs> That's it. It doesn't finish it. There's no curfew at 10. So, uh, yeah, it's good. Well, there is for you usually. You're usually fast asleep, mate. Then beers have hit you by about nine. Uh, 10 o'clock, you're, bl- you're, early, already, uh, you're blinking, mate. These early kickoffs, mate. These early kickoffs. <laughs> oh, look at that ace from Andre Rublev. Mate, we- from what I've seen in this match so far, both players are serving uh, immensely. I was thinking this it's going to be close. I reckon we could see some tie breaks here today. Yeah, it's a good shout. Well, hey, the way I'm, so, I'm so impressed with um, Sonego. Like the way he's been playing recently is yeah, yeah. phenomenal. No one would have been able to expect it. It's just mad and, uh, to think. Hopefully, isn't... he kicks on from this because obviously he's going to be playing uh, Bublik now in Paris. Uh, yes. we're doing the draw reaction for that later on. So hopefully, as many of you can join us for that, that'll be exciting. But will yeah. he be able to kick on and perform against the public? You'd fancy him the way he's playing right now. Oh, yeah, for sure. But you probably wouldn't have maybe two weeks ago. Public probably would have been the favourite, right? Exactly. <laughs> Crazy. I know. It's weird how things turn around. And obviously with uh, with uh, Sonego, he'd won, <laughs> he's won... I don't think he'd won any hardcore matches until Vienna this year. He'd lost six in a row. And now yeah. he's won five... Or was it no? I think he'd lost five in a row. He obviously lost to Bedeni in the qualifying, and then he won another four. So he won against Meadler, lost to mm. Bedeni, and then four in a row, and hasn't dropped a set this whole uh, this whole tournament so far. But like Meadler's mm. a good benchmark. Meadler's a good player, but he's not someone who's going to be kicking on to the next level. And if you're losing to him, it sort of signals you're not quite right, not quite there. But then what we've seen since then from Senegal is just. It's amazing. Oh, it really crazy. is. It's a really great story. It's a great story for him. Miedla did better um, than Djokovic. <laughs> but, but one thing I would say for me, if I'm being, I know um, Just Me just asked, who's my pick for the match? I'm going to say my heart is Sonego. I'd love Sonego to go and win this whole thing. I think he deserves it for beating Djokovic and the way he's played and the way he's ca- carried himself the whole tournament. But I've got to be honest, I think Rublev's just too much for him. He's also been phenomenal. I remember there was one stage against, um, who was he playing? Anderson, wasn't it, the other day? Yeah, yeah. And he was yeah, at ninety five percent serve first serves one percent. And if he's if Rublev's doing that to you, then you're you're in trouble. And I've seen the same thing already so far. He's been serving so well, it's hard for Snegel to get into the points. And if he's not get, able to get into him, he can't really create much damage. Well, that's it. I think it's going to be interesting thing to see in this match. Like we're just seeing the first signs now. Mm-hmm. Like Rublev just getting into it a little bit and just starting to force. I've noticed he's hitting predominantly to that backhand side. And that was the one thing that I sort of <clears throat> pointed out yesterday, that Sonego seems to be running around that backhand a lot to try and hit yeah. forehand winners. And maybe Rublev's seen something there. I know he did hit a few good backhand winners as well, but from the forehand side, he's so formidable. Well, with Rublev, he's got such a great feel. He can, I feel like he can put the ball where he wow, wants it. Every time. Nice. There we go. Brilliant time as well. <laughs> Love 30 under pressure, fifteen thirty now. It's like we're seeing the growth of just a, a new, like a young player, like a seventeen-year-old just coming yeah. through. But he's not; he's been on the tour for ages, and now he's suddenly <laughs> burst on. I just the hope scene. he kicks on. I don't want this to be like um, yeah, everyone remember wonder. that one little Vienna tournament where, where Sonego was amazing. And then after that, he just turns to rubbish. Well, this is why I want the same thing for Iga Savontek as well. You don't want to see this world beater on every single match, and then suddenly they turn to nothing after that. It's all yeah. about backing it up, isn't it? There's a I lot think... of similarities between the two, I think. Um, yeah. You could just say that, obviously, Iga's a lot younger, probably a lot more powerful than Sonego. I think Sonego is a bit more of a technical player. Uh, I saw some comments saying that he plays very similar to Federer. Yeah. Very similar like, style. 
Cheers to just me. Another super sticker. Nice yeah, one. appreciate that. Thanks, mate. Going to get yourself onto that uh, leaderboard soon. I think he's probably on there now. Must be. It's not a we'll live update for the next yeah. one. Yeah, for sure. Oh, and, Wild um, Live made it in. Hey. hey, it's been a long time, <laughs> mate. I've been missing you. <laughs> oh, it's great deep hitting here from uh, Sonego, but it's into the net. They ran round the backhand again. And we've got a break point opportunity. Oh. One thing I want to say about Federer, he also confirmed yesterday, for you guys who have not seen, that he's hoping to be back in January. So that's exciting. Yeah. We'll see maybe a Roger Federer at Australian Open. I'm sure That'd that subject will change with what's happening in the world right now. Um, and hopefully he's, he can recover fully by then. But it'll be exciting to see Roger Federer back. It'll be our first time potentially doing a live watch along for Roger Federer. Oh, that'll be big, that one. That'll get the get the fans out in droves, mate. That will. And Ooh, uh, I think it's just out. Yeah, I'm rubbing oh, great. Oh, Wow. But remember, Ooh. it's not a break <laughs> unless you consolidate. And Mate, he's going to be super disappointed with that. He yeah. did everything right. He was just maybe like an inch just wide. It's Such like a shame. A... It's a horrible way to lose a break, up, break point opportunity. But I think he can still be really positive with the way he's played so far. He's a bit unlucky with the way that he's just dragged it. Yeah, it's so close. Maybe well. a few inches wide. Tried to be too clever, trying to finish the rallies a little bit too early, it seems, just because he knows. I think it's the right shot. I think he's just he's just overdone it slightly, overcooked I th- it. I think he's going to struggle in longer rallies in this match, and I think he's trying to finish them quicker. I think Rublev can keep that consistent hitting up for much longer. Uh, and yeah, I've seen Wild Lives comment there. <laughs> it's all about consolidating your first big title. And it mate, is. I know why Wild Lives disappeared, mate. I've seen the bracket league and it's not looking too healthy. For <laughs> so I'm hoping Wild Live can um, do a bit better in the Paris one. For sure. And also, just me. Thanks again for a super sticker. You're definitely on the leaderboard now. We'll have to uh, tally them all up after the podcast. And yeah, we'll, for sure. Uh, we'll stick your name on there for sure. Thank yeah, me- Mel is saying we're waiting for Serjan, Djokovic's dad, to return. Uh, no, Serjan disappeared, mate. He disappeared after Djokovic went out. Is it a bit too conveniently disappeared after who? He was an amazing mystic predictor. And then the, in the league, he doesn't look like he's that good at predicting at all at the moment. So maybe that's why he's just disappeared off the uh, face of Game to Love for now. Waiting for the next tournament, the big predictions. <laughs> What's that? Mele's getting to uh, stop that Australian <laughs> Australian dollars. We don't mind which dollars they are. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Rublev to serve. Can he consolidate the break? All about the consolidation. Not Andre... really much so it, it, exciting in this match so far. I think we need a bit of a moment of uh, real magic. magic to lift everyone. It's oh, good to look see at that shot. as well. How did he get that back? Oh no. Oh, wow. Great yeah. recovery well play. Played, Rublev. And there you go. That's the backhand, mate. T- sonego has got an overall overall game. Oh, that is really that. phenomenal. And However, a... the net there, that was just really soft and poor. Got caught in no man's land there. He just literally... I don't think he expected Rublev to, to reply so well. Uh, I don't think he expected it to come back over the net. Yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> <laughs> and well, uh... I'm saying, my bracket was SHIT. Yeah. I'm ashamed. <laughs> Should have put Rublev to win. <laughs> Mate, we've got Jack- Jax and uh, Melez doing very, very well. We'll, yeah. we'll go, obviously, through the leaderboard afterwards. Wow. Uh, and Rublev then we've got also power. a chance to pick the, the picks for Paris soon. But we'll be doing a podcast for that. Yeah, if you yeah. want to sign up to the website, I'll put the link in there right now. So you can sign up. It's free. And, uh, yeah, you just give your predictions for the draw and see who's going to come out on top. It's quite yeah. fun. Oh, look at that ace from Rublev. Uh, thanks, everybody who's uh, joining us. Got 66 people in at the moment. If you haven't liked the video yet, please hit the like button. It helps our channel grow. And, uh, yeah, if you haven't already subscribed, hit the subscribe button too. So, yeah, we're just uh, seeing if Rublev can complete another game to love. Here we go. Seen a few so far. <clears throat> yeah. What are you well, drinking today, Ben? You're on the beer or the cider? Yeah, just on the Estela Arturas. And look at that smash, and it's game to love, but it's also consolidation. (laughs) 
Cheers. Mate, I'm currently drinking an innocent smoothie, so... <laughs> oh, get out of here. I don't want to see... <laughs> Should I, should I remove him from the stream again? I don't know if we can have him on there. If you came down the pub... Mate, and it's ordered, quite nice. If you came down the pub and ordered an innocent smoothie, I think I'd be sat on another table. <laughs> Mate, it's quite refreshing. I quite like it. Uh, you can refresh somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. It's consolidated. 4-2 up. Lot, We've had 20 minutes in played. Those. A lot of sugar in those drinks. So. Hey, mate, I need it to get a uh, hype for this one. It's the oh. final, Ben. This is a final. We should be. No, it is. We should be Anything. excited right now. It's good to see so many people there, actually. Yeah, I know. I think the atmosphere having... seems quite good. Thousand capacity. Looks more today, though. Oh, oh, it's a let. Ooh. It looked like an ace. And the net. Get... Oh. Was it an oh. ace? No, a little, net, little a net catch on the run there from the ball boy. That was a good one. Yeah, and just me yet again with another super sticker. <laughs> Thanks, mate. He's firing them off today. Yeah, and apparently loves this channel. Just found out about it yesterday. Well, better late than never. Don't know. You'll be here for the long haul now. That's You're nice, though. part of the community. Good to have you. Here we go. Sonego. He needs a good hold here, and then he needs to get straight back into that Rublev serve. It's going to be interesting to see uh, if he can just hold here, though, just to put the pressure back on Rublev. Yeah. Can't... He's been serving really well, to be fair. Both players have. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And like you said, I know you you predicted a few tie breaks. It's not um well, I thought wasn't that, that far off. I think they're just both very similar. They both played very similar in this. Turner. But it's always difficult. It was all just dependent on what the nerves though. I just think Rublev, he's made he's won four titles already. He knows a final this yeah. year so well. And I think that is just gonna be the test. But the Sonego factor. not sort of um do you not look at him as someone who's very confident on court? I did, but it's an ATP 500 final. This is yeah. his first ever. Is it, this well, is it's his, his biggest, biggest, biggest match of his career, no doubt. Yeah, for sure. I mean, he's got the chance to like beat Rublev, which is... Uh, Rublev's obviously the man about town at the moment. Oh, and there's a drop shot that goes... And this When you're searching for options, then when stomach's not going right, it all starts going wrong. Yeah, and he's put himself in a spot above her right now. 30 all. He doesn't <clears> want a double break. Cause then, well, that's first set gone. You look at the uh, winner count there. Rublev's hit eight winners so far. Sanego four. They've swapped, haven't they? Four to eight and eight to four. Yeah, and then unforced errors. Sanego's got eight and Rublev four. <laughs> oh, but there you go. There's a bit of a lamb shank there from... No, it's a really oh, good serve. You've got to be yeah, honest. It's a really good wild. serve. I'm so impressed with his serving. I think it's phenomenal. Well, wow. he's got the height and he's got the power, doesn't he? So he's just been a breath of fresh air in this tournament. Here we go. Serving. Can he just hold here? And being Would a clay court player as well, you know he's got the, the the grit and determination to sort of slog out a long rally as well. So if you combine all of them things, this guy's an overall uh, sensational player. Maybe he's just missing the sliding. So <laughs> It's wide and he holds. Yep. Good hold. Rublev Big, going mate. for it. I see that Rublev was really just trying to hit winners off those returns, though. Sort of gifted him a few points. Maybe if he'd gone for a more, I don't know, percentage return, he might have got in the rally and got another break. But I don't know. I think maybe this is his tactic. He doesn't want to use up too much energy. He's already got the break. Mate, I think the main thing right now is don't get injured. Rublev's had an easy run in so far. Like, <laughs> mate, he's been injured. That Russian magic. He's been all of his... Uh, Opponents have been getting some early relief. He's been and, casting uh, a spell on everyone. Yeah, he's got that Russian magic, and everybody's right leg or foot has been bothering them so far. So interesting to see. If yeah, uh, wild that... live asking there, did anyone pick Sanego to make the final? No nah, one did. I don't think on. anyone made him, uh, got him to the final. Funny enough, I had him to get to the semi final. <laughs> I think I was the only one. <laughs> That's so rubbish, though. It's not yeah. rubbish. If his name was Schwartzman, then you would have. We can rewind the video. Yeah, I said Schwartzman, and obviously he got replaced. And the lucky loser, Sanego. I don't think Schwartzman would have got to the final, to be honest. Well, I don't know. You never know. He had just played a full. Mate, tour. The way Djokovic played, he had his uh, he had his flip flops on. He was on the beach. He's already secured uh, year end number one, and that's what it looked like to me. I think if if, if Djokovic would have faced a Schwartzman in the same round, I think Schwartzman would have beaten him as well. But then you never know. Anything's possible. You just never Sanego know. Sanego was really good. 
Uh, the other results that were going on today, obviously the mailman over in Kazakhstan, he took a title against uh, Manorino. So John Millman, well done, always delivers. Uh, yeah, he's got, <laughs> got himself a title there, which is really good for him. And uh, we've got the qualification in par for Paris going on at the moment. We've got a big match, which has been dominated. We've got Martin Fuchskovic and uh, Vasek Pospisil. Pospisil are set and 4-1 up, Gosh. which is pretty crazy. So I'm not surprised, though, are you? Pospisil was no, immense it's... against Felix. Yeah, I mean... And then yeah, slightly unlucky, who was he playing after that? Was it uh, Medvedev? Yeah, Medvedev, I believe. Yeah. Oh, what a serve from Rublev. Mate, so far, this final's been okay, but it's not been that exciting. I think it's been very much stop, start, just very good serving from both players. You've got to respect it, but one break it's not point. been a spectacle as per se, is it? Well, yeah, exactly. That's how close it is. One break point and one break point taken. That's what you've got to do in these type of matches when they're this close. <laughs> yep. It's fine margins, for sure. There you go. And that's a good return from Sonego. Really going for the power. I think he needs yep. to do that. If he gets the opportunity, go for it. He's got nothing to lose in this set. Just a little reminder, gonna... isn't it, for Rublev that I'm here. Be careful, mate. Well, I think that he just because Rublev's second serve is attackable. It's just that first serve so crazy Gosh. right now. He's just like that's another ace. Wait, that was his first one, uh, first points, and there goes one straight off the Rublev serve. And wow. if I saw the stats there, uh, Rublev's won 14, I believe, or something ridiculous. He's had three games to love, I believe, before this game. Yeah, <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's just his forehand so lethal. He puts oh, it where exactly that. where he wants it, and he's just it's always base, and it's always, hitting the, it's always hitting that baseline, isn't it? It's just it's hard to get off the baseline when you're playing him. Do you have the first serve uh, percentage statistics there? First serve percentage uh, for for Rublev is forty seven percent, but he's won a hundred percent of his uh, first serve points. Yeah, that's what I mean. The, the points won. He's won a hundred. Oh, right. He's not lost one point no. off his first serve. No. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That is the big difference so far in this but match. Eighty-eight percent off his second serve. So you try and beat him in this type <laughs> of form. This is ridiculous. How is he doing that? Like, yeah, he serve... can't dent it. Snego can't get into any of his services so far. This, this must have been this five-three, and now one game away. We're on the magic five for Andre Rublev. And Sonego, uh, he just needs to hold his serve here and hope he gets a chance in the Rublev service game somehow. Oh, that was good, though. Nice yeah. serve volley there. Good volley in. A rare part of uh, today's game, that. We don't see be many serve volleyers anymore, do we? No, nah, it'd be interesting. I think it's just the they because they changed a lot of the courts. That's what Robin Harsa was saying, wasn't he, to us? Yeah. He said they changed a lot of the courts and they've made it so unfavourable for serve volleying now that there's mainly just hardcore... Uh, or baseline rallies, sorry. sorry Mate, I don't think anyone's told Maxim Kresi that yet, though. He still goes for it. <laughs> I know. Do or die. He has <laughs> the famous chip and charge approach. doesn't even go for winners. He just hits one, chips one in and charges. It's just crazy. I've never seen someone do it so many times. He's very know. good at the net, though, to be fair to him. I should hope so, if you're doing that many. So, yeah, it's 30 love. This is looking very good so far. Um, <laughs> Chris Mears dismissing Sonego already. Lose the first set, finals over. All right, should we stop the stream? <laughs> <laughs> I'd have to agree with him, though. I think it's going to be really tough if if uh, Rublev does take this first set. It's I think be super tricky. The way that he can do it is get the second set to a tie break and then take your chances <laughs> so get one chance I don't know I don't think we can write Sonego off mate he's just so good like if he plays really well in the second set then anything's possible he's, I don't think his head's going to drop too much oh he's still it's a little trick oh, shot there a little he was trick out. shot I know and just thanks that for another super chat just me we appreciate it and he was saying so good Rublev yeah he's been phenomenal so far um, Rublev just he's just thrashing at the second serves I think he's just so reliant on his own serve yeah, and that's, uh, that's a game to love, Ben. You've missed it. I'm going to have uh, a, a squig on my Cheers. innocent. Oh, Cheers. There's no point, is there? Tom Rowley. Oh, Tom Rowley in the chat. Ben and JG on a Sunday afternoon. That's my kind of relief. <laughs> <laughs> indeed, indeed. Who, have yeah, you, who are you back in, Tom, Tom Rowley? Have you got any uh, sly little wages on a 5.5 Sonego win, maybe? Or maybe a handicap? 
Well, the John Notley disagreeing, saying Sir Volley in the 90s was boring. Quite look well, at that, the Rublev shot placement and everything. Yeah, nothing's down the middle, basically. The the go the back down the sides, yeah. To the and most of it on the backhand. Yeah, that's what, it's working, isn't it? Well, Sir Volley in the 90s, uh, I mean, was it that boring, though? I don't think it was that boring. It depends what style of tennis you like, mate. For yeah. me, it is. I, I love I love clay court tennis. That's my favourite for sure. Like, I've always loved it. Maybe that's a big part of watching Rafa growing up. Like he's so exciting to me. I love the long rallies. I love watching the intricate drop shots. And mm. uh, yeah, for yeah, me, for that's sure. just that's what makes tennis exciting. So for me, I don't like seeing the big servers doing just was... short rallies. It doesn't excite <laughs> me. Like, this match right now is not the most exciting for me personally. But other people look at it and think that's pure brilliance what they're doing. Yeah. Your favourite match is uh, Isner Opelka, isn't it? <laughs> Mate, we had a big... Uh, <laughs> we did a funny podcast on that in the early days, I remember. Yeah, we did. I can't remember which one it was, but it was... I can't uh, say... I, I don't think you was in favour of that match either, right? No, I don't think anybody's in favour of that match. No one just wants to see just service. It was boring. It was 7-6-6-7-7-6. Seven, six, six, seven, seven, six. It was one of them typical Ivo yeah. Karlovic. You can throw him in the mix as well. Ah, uh, he's another great... Great competitor. He's a bit of a legend. I love Eva. Oh, and there you go. Look at that shot from uh, Rublev. There's just no chance you're getting that. It's just he... shot placements are so good. He's one of the best on tour right now. Accuracy. He puts the ball where he wants it every time. <laughs> and Alyssa jumping on the back of Pete Sampras, saying Sampras was boring. Oh, I don't think that's fair. I think Sampras probably, well, for me, one of my favourite tennis players of all time. Everyone's got oh. their own opinion, though, Ben, don't they? Like, everyone's got a different style of tennis they love. And uh, that, I think that is the beauty of tennis. You don't have to play one way. Everyone's got their own little... Um, Pistol Pete, wasn't method he? Method to... <laughs> That's what it was known as, I think. Known as what? Pistol Pete. <laughs> <laughs> he was always firing winners off. <laughs> well, here we are, then. This is a very critical point in the match. Can Rublev serve it out? Take yeah. the first step? Do you have any nerves? Where's the the Russian magic? Oh, it's a Chris great Mir serve. there saying, come on, Sanego. Oh, it's wide and yeah. 15-30 and a little... I think deep down, a lot of people will want Sanego to win. Obviously not Jax, but <laughs> aside from her, most people would love or to anyone see in Russia. the underdog come through and do this. Yeah, for or sure. Or is it just me? I, lo I do like uh, Rublev as well. There's a small window. <laughs> <laughs> Opening up over there, and there's he a second one, serve. Here we go, second, well, what's his percent on that, though? Like 85 percent, 78 percent now. Ooh. And he's no longer 100 percent on first serve. Look, and he's peppering that backhand side. Look, he hasn't gone once into the forehand side. And Snego runs round it. Good shot. Oh, he's into the net. Oh, it's hit the net cord. He couldn't put the volley away, but he's missed it. And we got two Ooh, break points. Oh, that's huge. I thought he'd bottled it there. It, obviously, it hit the top of the net cord, bounced up high. He didn't do enough with the volley, did he? But no, I think it, it still was enough to put Rublev off. Let's have a look Cheers, at it again. Melez. Nice one. Trying to regain that spot on the leaderboard. <laughs> Annoyed with just me. Yeah, there's a bit of competition going on for the leaderboard right now. I Thanks know. for the tip, uh, Melez. We appreciate it. And we've got two break points with that. Oh, it's a great serve. And he's opened the court up, but he hasn't put it away. Oh, he's hit the net court on the other side. This time, Rublev <laughs> puts it away. <laughs> That's a lot better, though, isn't it? That's what um, Sonego should have done. Yeah, it's, well, I think... We trust Rublev to hit. Mate, that's so that court, is so though. Rublev though, isn't it? He's someone. Look at that. He is just, yeah. He just kills everything off. He's the type of player. If 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 he's got you on your throat, if he's got your if he's got his foot on your throat, you're basically dead. Yeah. He won't. He's just unrelentless pressure. He won't give up. Oh, it's missed the first serve there. It's close to an ace though. It was, but not close enough. And here we go. Second serve. Sonego goes for it. <laughs> Oh, it's a great shot down the line. He's forced the air. It's juice. Oh, gosh. This is getting some good tennis now. We're finally seeing a lot more um, <laughs> and there's a, competitive there's tennis there's towards a, the end of this first set. There's a real battle, and there's a battle going on in the comments as well because Wildlife can't let Melez go too far ahead. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, there's another. Cheers, guys, for the uh, super chat. Mate, I don't mind this. Just keep having an argument between yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you know. 
I'll be rich oh, by the end of it. There you go. And we got our first set point. And how many points in a row was that? Four? Four in a row? And that just yeah. goes to show the strength and character of this young Russian. I think three. What? It was three points in a row, I think. Was it? I thought it was from 1540. Yeah, that's three, isn't it? 30, 40, advantage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. He, he is an accountant, but yeah, that's all we'll right. ignore I, it. I normally have a calculator. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and, it's and there we go. Right. Takes the first set. Yeah, not much celebration so far. Oh. It's a little fist pump by him looking and up to the sky. Chris Mir saying it's Sine gone. <laughs> oh, mate, I don't think you can, you just can't count him out. Well, he showed he's got two. It's going to be really tough, though. It's super there. tough. Rublev is so used to these finals now. He's obviously won four already this year. This is to make it number five. One more than uh, <laughs> the one and only Novak Djokovic. Yeah. See the stats? Yep. We got three aces for Sonego, four for Rublev. And then, yeah, that's the they're the stats that jump off the page. Like 93% of first serve points won. Oh. Had that just changed to 100%? What What just happened there? Just while I was doing it. Oh, now it's gone oh. down again. What's going on? Someone needs to got something to answer for over there. I'm telling you. <laughs> That's how sure accurate someone, these stats are, Ben. Someone had a heavy night <laughs> last night over at Dennis 24. Uh, yeah, we can have a look down there and we can see total points won 30 to 22. So quite a considerable amount considering the scoreline. Eight points different. That's all those game to loves he was having. Yeah. So pretty well, impressive. Not been many points off uh, Rublev serve, but towards the end he looked a bit shaky. Obviously giving away a break point. Um, yeah. Would have been a lot more dominant if you if he would have just cleared that last uh, service game, forty fifteen or something, or game to fifteen. Sorry. <sighs> it was very close, but yeah, I think it was a very promising sign. He got some break points. He actually got into a Rublev service game for once. I really enjoyed was... it towards the end of that. Um, towards the end of that first set. The business oh, the tennis, Yeah, the tennis got a lot better. You see the nerves start playing a part, and that's when where tennis gets really interesting. And yeah. even Rublev has nerves as well. He's, he can handle them better than most, but he still has them. Melez is unhappy about the leaderboard right now. We will do a recount afterwards, don't worry. We'll make sure we get it all 100% accurate. I can assure <laughs> you of that. <laughs> <laughs> You're not so sure where account is given. The... Yeah, don't worry. We'll get back our calculators back out again after tonight. Yeah, we're accountants. Don't... We rely on Excel. We're not our maths yeah. isn't the best. <laughs> yeah, I've got. I actually have an Excel sheet made up for it, so it should be fine. It should be right. Maybe some formulas are uh, gonna awry. Yeah, I'll be as, as Wildlife it. says. Tough road back now for Sanego. You'd have to agree, but it's not impossible. Nothing Tom, ever is. I'm really saying Rublev needs a haircut. Yeah, and Sinner, <laughs> mate. They could go to they could they could go to the same barber, I reckon. Yeah, I think so. He's I think he's got COVID hair. It's like growing it out during the pandemic style. <laughs> Just me saying, I love Rublev's style of tennis. It's so beautiful. There we go. This is Fifteen love needs to hold this first game, otherwise you're going to start. Everyone's going to be saying it's over. I don't know if I'd describe it as beautiful. For me, it's more of just ruthless. <laughs> yeah, it is ruthless. <laughs> it's not like a I piece of art. It's more just like I relentless. Think it's, I think it's like dramatic the way he plays, though, because everything is 100% all the time. It's really yeah. hard to relax when you're Super playing. Super consistent or... as well. That's something what people don't talk about enough. He's such a young guy. To be that consistent already, it's huge. Cheers, Thomas Rock. Jumping in there, not sure what it says, but <laughs> I'm guessing it's something complimentary. I'm sure it's going to translate for us. Yeah, maybe you can translate. Oh, it's wide, 30-15. I'm, I'm assuming he's cheering on um, Rublev. Certainly not Italian, is it? So, <laughs> And Wildlife asking, would the drop shot of it be effective against Rublev? That assumes you could get a decent court positioning. I can't say I've seen great touch from the net from him. Well, exactly. That was the one exactly thing. Exactly that... what we was talking about. We think that you need to be forcing a lot of drop shots against Rublev. That's probably the area he can improve more than any. At the net, he's not that impressive. I watch a lot of um, Rublev hatching off in the doubles. <laughs> yeah. And um, 
I always think, oh, they're going to win this today, but they never seem to be able to. And I think a large part of that is at the net. Both players aren't that good. Ooh, into the net there. Feeble slice on the backhand side from Sonego. Yeah, and it's 30 all, when he's under pressure early on. That's and I just want to say, we as we've got 75 people right now, please, everyone, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Uh, we've got a lot of podcasts lined up. We're going into lockdown, so we're going to be doing a med- probably daily going forwards. <laughs> yeah, it's um, going to be near enough, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah, hit the subscribe button. Also, like the video as well. And we'll yeah. continue to keep doing them. Don't forget to like it. <laughs> Second serve here. Oh, That's he's wild there from uh, Rublev. As he... He's anger, isn't he? Yeah, well, he's just going for it. <laughs> Thomas Rock saying that's I must break you. Drago from Rocky Four. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas Rocks, he's always got a brilliant uh, little quote. Right, 40 30. Can he hold? Good serve. Good return. It's into the net. We got juice. Cool. I'm not sure. That return looked long to me. I think it was on the line. Must have caught the back of the line. Uh, regardless, he doesn't want to be caught in a, a Rublev juice. <laughs> no. I mean, we've seen how dominant Rublev service game was, apart from the one where he was serving it out. All the others were game to loves, pretty much. Yeah. You don't want to be stuck trying to break him again. Needs to hold. Juice. Good serve to the Rublev forehand. So open the court up. He comes to the net. Good volley. Rublev gets there. Another great volley. Wow. Oh, what a shot that was. That's lifted the crowd. That's that phenomenal. Was Look at that. That second volley was... Look, it just looked a bit great. Unorthodox, little, but that was so good. And the little spin at the end. So <laughs> clever. He like took the power off it and just sort of stabbed at it. Yeah, and the little good. spin as well. Wow. Pirouette. I believe they call it. <laughs> Cheers, Ben. That's all right. Used to work for a uh, dance company. There you go. Any ballerina. Yeah, that's it, mate. I used there to we go. One nil. So there you go. Got out of that one. Used to wear a tutu. Lars saying set two Sonego. He reckons we're going to be seeing three sets. And then just me, guys, set two Rublev. So. Well, Everyone yeah. agrees in the comments right now. Well, I said Sonego to win the first set and then Rublev to come back. And we've got a Rublev first set, so maybe Sonego to come back. Maybe Sonego second set, setting up a final set thriller. I think, yeah, I think this tournament deserves a third set. I think it's been brilliant so far. really enjoyed everything about it, minus the fishing nets. I think the fishing nets are a bit weird. His, his box, right? <laughs> like, what? I quite like the fishing nets. You've liked the fishing nets? I don't know. Yeah, I think they've added an extra realm of uh, <laughs> for something co- comedic to the tennis game. Oh, look at that. You can't. The line calls have up. all been very good. That's a, that's a plus. Yeah, all the line judges have done really well. <laughs> no one got hit in the throat, which is also another positive. And we've actually been able to see two young players going at it and playing really good tennis as well. So I think it deserves a third set. Sonego deserves a third set. The way he's played this whole tournament, it'll be a shame if he sort of just um, crumbles now, the last hurdle. Yeah, come on. Oh, and you can't do it like that. He's the just problem is, the last points. hurdle was a very high one. Very, very high. It's even higher now. <laughs> set down. <laughs> and knows one more slip-up could cause his demise. Well, let... Led for service. Oh, uh, look at that. A net catch on the run. Sprinting ball boy there. That was a good one. Elisa saying, I think if Rublev wins today, he secures his place in the ATP finals. He'll make it very interesting. Yeah, for sure. He'll definitely be there. And um, I don't think it's that far-fetched to say that he can go all the way and win it. I know it's bizarre because it'd be like one of the last qualifying spots. And yeah. Playing the likes of uh, Dominic Team, Rafael Nadal, Novak Djokovic, all the big guys Sitter are going to be there. Sit a pass. But Rublev, I don't know. You just, you, you. It's just not that far, far um, fetch for to say that he could go all the way and win when it. You got confidence. You got confidence, and when it's oozing out of you, he's the guy. At the, at the end of the day, he's won more titles than all of them this year. So exactly. I think we win. wins uh, breed wins, and if you wow, keep winning, look at that game to love. Need to get that graphic okay. made up. Yeah, I'm sure we'll work on it now. We've got lockdown, mate. There's not much more else to do. <laughs> yeah, if there's any animators in the 
uh, comments or watching, yeah, reach out. Always uh, looking for new animations to add to the live streams. But we've only got breaks of serve and consolidation at the moment. We want a business end, <laughs> business end button. And what yeah, else we'll we work on some some funny ones, some good ones. Here you guys. Oh, look at that Another return! Serve, but the, yeah, the return's just too good, isn't it? it comes I think right he needs to start returning on. He needs to start serving to Rublev's backhand. Do you think that? Snego's getting a taste of his own medicine a little bit in this match. This is what he was doing to Dan Evans yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Firing it back at his feet as soon as he had served. Yeah, a bit of karma for him. Yeah. Oh, look, it's hard to kick that, like, get those serves back in play, though. And that one is just blocked. When he's it, been it? serving it down the middle or to the backhand, it's been troubling Rublev a lot more. Yeah, yeah. There's no point serving out wide to his forehand because Rublev's no. just too good. It's so consistent. You need to... It's more or less always going to fall in. And then if it don't, he's going to be back with some like power and anger. Yep. It normally comes back with interest. Yep. So. Through the middle asks, why doesn't Rublev replicate this form in Grand Slams? I think he will do now. Just, he's a young guy. He's not had that many Grand Slams under his belt. And he's only getting better as well. Oh, good one-two punch there from Sonego. I think Needs no one would have seen him to do the, what he's done this year, though. It's been really impressive. Even himself, I think he said in an interview, he's just so happy with his uh, performances this year and the way he's improved so much. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, Wildlife saying we need the lamb shank button. That's the one, the other one as well. We have to write them all down. Oh, that's a good shot out to the Rublev. Look at that. Great play. 40-15. He seemed more confident now, Senega, I'd say. He's looking like he's re like recouped himself and just like he's actually got him back in a better mindset after that uh after that break from the first set. Yeah, he's not done too bad at all. He had one sort of off spell of uh, confidence and yeah, now he's back on serving hard. Oh, that net cord, but it didn't make it over. No yeah, he luck. holds. That's big, though. He needs that 2-1. He's got the scoreboard advantage now, this second set as well, obviously serving first. Do you think... So if he keeps Rub holding his serve, it could really put him under pressure because at one stage, Rublev's going to have to uh, hold, hold his serve to stay in the second set. That's the I way wanna... I always look at it sometimes. It's true. I want to know what everybody else thinks in the comments. Do you think Rublev has been a little bit lucky through this tournament so far. Do you reckon that he hasn't really had uh, the toughest of times, has he? He's had three, his last three matches. Wait, people... so wait sorry, but beating Dominic team in Vienna is not tough. No, no, no. Why let me finish? <laughs> okay. So he obviously <laughs> against Sinner. He played three games. Sinner yep. went out with a foot injury. He played Dominic team who had a blister. And couldn't run around in the second set. And then Kev Anderson, who had a knee injury, or was it a inner muscle, inner thigh injury? And you've still got out. to beat Dominic team. It was a blister, mate. And I feel. Do you think that he's been fortunate in this tournament? I think fortunate's a big word. Like he's been, you could say he's been fortunate with the sinner one. I would say, but yeah. the others, I thought like he hadn't beat, and then the injury sort of started. Uh, what about Anderson, Do you reckon Anderson, if he was Mate, Anderson fit? was okay, and then no, I'm, not, I'm not saying he's not injured; he clearly was, but it was like he was beat, and then he got injured. Do you know what I mean? I Do think if Anderson that... was okay, he still would have lost that match with Dominic Do team. I think Rublev just suffocated it? him. Do you reckon Rublev? Do you reckon Rublev caused the injury though to Kevin Anderson? How can you cause an injury for someone else? Well, because he forced he's forcing him to run on the, his injury, which was not causing him problems until Rublev forced him around the court so much. I think any player would, mate. If you're if you've got like a you're prone to injury and you've got something with like a little bit of a niggle, did and Dominic you play team? It, you he... can lose to anyone because it doesn't really matter. You, you get you have to run around. Every tennis player makes you run. Did Dominic Team even have a blister before he played Rublev? Or did Rublev cause the blister in the Mate, first Ben's set? in troll mode. Yeah, someone's called it in the comments. <laughs> He's being a troll. It's going to take about 
five minutes and he's going to start talking about Rafael Nadal and how long it takes him to serve in a minute. Uh, let's not get on to that. Well, that umpire having to have a word with the crowd there. Well, I'd like to agree with you, though. He said Rublev has had some injury luck, no doubt. It's that Russian magic, don't forget. Maybe he's put a spell on everybody else in the tournament. And through the think? middle suite says, Rublev has actually played two matches the whole tournament. The rest have been walkovers. Ah, see, so there is a little bit. Every I'm by just tapping into everybody, what everyone else is thinking there. <laughs> So is he just fresh because he's not played so much tennis? Yeah, you could say he's fresh, but he's not. I think he's relentless. Would you I say he's dominating what... Sonego right now? Yeah. Be honest. You think he's dominating him? I think he's relentless. I think that's the word for Rublev. Relentless Rublev. Yeah, he is. But like, I don't on. think he's. I think it's been relatively even, and uh, I think Rublev has edged it for sure. I think he's been a lot more dominant out of the two. But Snago still put a good account from it. He won the, won, it's only been one break of serve the first set, and then the second set, we're on serve right now. But look at that. There that you go, 15 I remember going back, <laughs> going back to one of our earlier podcasts where we are talking about going for a drink with Andre Rublev. <laughs> remember that? I think it was, might have even been the second or third podcast we did. You oh, said right, that, yeah. And you said that it'd probably walk off and make you pay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I was quite scared of him at that stage, but we've seen a lot more interviews of him since. And based on what that... uh, Donskoy was saying about him as well, it seems like a really nice, genuine guy. So yeah, yeah, for sure. They said he was one of too, the um, guys ever. I think we was too fast to judge him. What do you reckon? Like, I think it's a good question to bring up now. What because at the time we thought that Rublev's drink of choice, if he went to the pub, would probably be a straight vodka. And then, <laughs> what, what do you reckon? He might have changed his tune now. Mate, I reckon innocent smoothie. He's such no, a soft guy, mate. Come a on, don't give me that. He's, I reckon he'd have an innocent nails. smoothie, and then he would come because he doesn't want to miss training the next day. He wouldn't want to have a hangover, would he? Mate, he wouldn't have one. He's as hard as nails. He doesn't affect him. <laughs> it's like fuel for the fire. I like the name Thomas Rocks has given him, Rublentus. <laughs> Rublentus. It's <laughs> a pretty good one. And here we are anyway. So 6-4, uh, Rublev the first set. If you're just joining us, we're on the second set. It's 2 all. 15 love Sanego. We've had 53 minutes played. <laughs> it's me pointing out. This this is why we need the third set. The only thing with this podcast is you don't have time to drink more than one beer. Well, <laughs> J, JD doesn't even have time to drink one beer, apparently. He's Mate, probably... I do, but I need to get up and get it. And it's apparently just like there's not enough ones. super chats for JG today, apparently. <laughs> no, but there's it... been plenty. That's no excuse. I'm not even going to call for them. I've, my next one is desperate times call for desperate measures for Sonego. So I've got the desperado for the I think our ultimate goal though Ben is if we are at a tournament wouldn't it be good to go for a beer with like one of these players and just have a good chat and like rip into everyone else can you imagine <laughs> them actually having a beer though <laughs> I know that some I'm of the sure lower ranked some of the lower ranked ones Mate, probably just or Kyrgios people. Kyrgios would be fine but I think when you go to the top top I bet that half of them don't even drink I bet you there's people the top top echelon players like well, I don't think Federer's, I don't think Djokovic drinks no, that's what they I mean. They probably do with their they dinner. They have like a glass of wine or something. Glass of wine. More yeah, sophisticated, I mean. you know what I mean? I'm thinking you'll catch them down the pub, though. <laughs> probably it's not, Ben. Curious is down the pub, as we You're know. You're going to just see them down the pub, though, Ben. Everyone's going to be there. Curious did it down there. stars. The, uh, ben is good, though. He loved going down that one next to Wimbledon, he said, didn't he, when he was on the podcast? That's where it's like the fox and hound or something, didn't he say? I can't oh, remember. Yeah, the, goose and, the goose and fox or the fox and... Some weird name. Slug. Mate, you're just missing that. Rublev there, pepper in the backhand of Sonego and just uh, force the error. Yeah. Got a feeling we deviate from uh, the tennis a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and Sonego looking like it's... Well, you can't allow this to be a short day at the office. Let's all. say, and Kyrgios cream the Dow with a massive hangover. Sorry to tell you. Yeah, there you <laughs> Wait, go. When did, he cream, when did he cream the Dow? Come on. I don't remember him creaming the Dow. Ah. Oh. He wouldn't. It's uh, it's always those matches. What, Wimbledon? He lost at Wimbledon. That's the last one I remember. All right. Stop going on about it. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are. 30 all. What's going to happen now, Ben? I'm hoping that Sonego gets a good serve in. Would you like to see three sets? 
Uh, yeah, of course. I just want to see. Uh, look at that winner. Go there on, go. Sonego. Come on, Sonego. Forza. I'm, I'm not biased. I'm just biased towards tennis. Not biased. <laughs> I'm non-biased towards the winner. But I'm biased towards uh, good tennis against bad. Or anti-tennis, as they call it. Apparently, it was in uh, Cincinnati 2017. Didn't Kyrgios won Kyrgios Cincinnati creamed. Then. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think he, he did, and he creamed Nadal. Mate, it's 2017, long time ago. Ever since then, Nadal's creamed him every time, so we'll leave think, it there. I think Nadal probably had no knees back then, did he? <laughs> Sounds like you're right over there. Sounds like there's some something's getting attacked. Oh, no, it's just the dogs outside. <laughs> <laughs> Some wolves. Set them off now. <laughs> they heard you. <laughs> Thomas Rock saying GTL meetup at the Fox and Slug. <laughs> if it's not a pub already, then it should be. Yeah, Acapulco too. Yeah, I remember that one. Um, yeah, that well, tough one. Kyrgios did really well. He won that tournament, didn't he? Well, Acapulco. Yeah, he won it a few years back. Oh, right. I thought well, you were talking three, about this I year. Think he, I, was I think he won it won it this year. <laughs> I was going to say, Nadal won it this year. Can't have lost to anyone. Here we go. Sonego trying to get out of this service game. Rublev thinks this could be his time. Oh, no. It's wide from Sonego. That's a loose Mate, forehand. he's done that too many times as well. It's so wasteful. I know. You just can't afford to And this is the first it. time in this, I'm actually seeing the frailties in Sonego's game a little bit. Do you think it's just the fact that uh, Rublev is grinding him down? Yeah, I think so. I think he's being... I think that's perfect. That's exactly what's happening. I think he's just becoming weaker. He's just... Not just that he's getting a bit more frustrated with the fact that he's it so comes, much coming back and he's just not really getting anywhere. He's not really... He's playing quite well so far, but he's not made any dent on the scoreboard whatsoever. So he's trying new things. But his serving's still been really good. Break point there. He's hit an yeah, amazing yeah. serve down the tee. It's an important and he saved game. It again. Let's not be it's about the practically bush. another race. I know it's not an ace, but I call him an ace. <laughs> it's an unreturnable. JG trains sleigh dogs. Is that sled? That's <laughs> <laughs> in his spare time. <laughs> yeah, I got a few so. huskies out the back. I thought you ran a like Battersea dogs home or something. <laughs> oh, look at that advantage, Sonego, and that's a cheap point. Round. It's just serving's been so good. I've been so impressed. <laughs> Someone said that Sonego looks like the karate kid. Does a bit. <laughs> it does look a little bit yeah. like now you find it out. Maybe if you... I think the bandana sort of adds yeah, to it. The, not maybe if you got rid of the tash a little bit more, like made it a little less. They, I think it's more karate. But yeah, I can see the resemblance now. How did I not spot this before? But look, Maybe once he gets to Wimbledon and he wears all white, then we'll see the true resemblance. <laughs> Yeah, a black we belt. <laughs> black. He's a black belt in tennis. And there you go. And he holds. Boom. Three, Big two, hole. Sonego. It's huge, mate. And we're coming up to the hour mark. They're giving us... And a, we're well into this match already. They're giving our fingers a rest today, aren't they? No button clicks. Just the one for you. I'm, I've had just the one as well. Yeah, just to, just talking, Ben. That's it. That's it, mate. We just sit here and uh, watch the match and enjoy it with you guys. But yeah, I see there's a lot of people in. It says there's 78, 79. It's going up, down. But yeah, if you haven't liked the video yet, please just press that little button. It's the one with the thumbs up on it. Press that one <laughs> under the video. And uh, yeah, it helps us show up in lots of searches. Could it be any more help... patronizing, Ben? Yeah, well, exactly. <laughs> but I don't have to spell it out to you, but it's that one underneath the video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button because then you'll get notified about all of our next videos which are coming out and then we're gonna have loads coming we've got paris masters we've got the our draw reaction which well, is we're talking about that right now we're doing that at six o'clock later on yep. today have you had a look at the draw yourself ben because i was um trying yep. to do a bit on the on the bracket league thing just having a little yeah. play around with it i didn't want to submit anything of yet but yeah it look it's really tough the first round matches qualifiers in there still yeah there. i know you've got the qualifiers but even the matches what we can see it just seems very oh. close to a lot of them i can't hard really call pick. them yeah <laughs> very it's hard. super difficult to pick i think the one which uh, had me a bit stumped in the first round i'm going to try and remember which one it was now i'll just put the to... link as well so guys if anyone's joined us new and they would like to join it's a free league you just need to make an account 
Just yeah, yeah, for hard. sure. There's not really much. Uh, we will call you out if you're doing really terrible. But then we'll oh, also call I'm... you out if you're doing very well. So I think the one which stumped me was the first round. I think I remembered it. I don't need the thing. Was Tommy Paul versus Jill Simon. <laughs> Jill Simon is going to be yeah, that. That's the... a tricky one. That you never know. He could lose like six love, six love, or he could win six love, six Jules love. Jules Simon's been playing really well recently as well, but so's Tommy Paul. So for me, that's a tough one. I think oh. there's gonna there's a lot of fifty fifties where I'm just gonna have to just guess. Oh wide on the forehand. He's trying to force it, trying to force onto that Sonego backhand. Wild Live saying I can hardly do worse with my pick. Well, <laughs> let's wait and see. And Elise is asking, what's your thoughts about the Zverev girlfriend problems? It's like a soap opera within days of each other. Oh, good. Win. Oh, he's dug that one out one sec. Sorry. Oh, it's long. Okay. Yeah, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a tough one, isn't it? It's not something we really want to talk too much about on the podcast, but it doesn't look good. I don't, even his apology statement, I wasn't really that impressed with it. I think mm. domestic abuse and like anything where you're being violent, it's not something you can sort of brush off and just be like, oh, I hope to be still be friends. I think he should be a bit more uh, sorry for it, and he, even sorry is it really good enough for me? It's not. It's just not. It's just not very really nice news to hear. It's just one of those ones as well, though. It's such a touchy subject, and it's so. And without knowing all of the real true facts or what's actually gone on, it's hard to comment on because yeah. you could just be like every other media outlet. Well, everyone's going to jump on the back of him right now. Well, that's and what right, I mean. Rightfully so, I guess. Um, that's what happens when you're when your life's in the in the limelight like it is. You get you take all the good things and the bad things what comes with it. But it's not a good look for him at all. And it's a shame it's no. come at a time when he's playing probably his best tennis of his career. Obviously back to back titles in Cologne, a uh, final in the Grand Slam, the US Open. Wow, great win of well, a the game there. Another solid hold there from Andre Rublev. But yeah, you're right. It's uh, couldn't have come at a worse time for Zverev. He's playing his best tennis of his career right now. And I wonder if it affects him going into I, Paris. I, 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 that's why I was worried about. I remember there was a previous incident a few years back when he split up with his girlfriend. Do you remember? And he went on that yeah. streak where he was losing like every match. I know Thomas Riley will remember very well. Yeah, yeah, for sure. If he's still watching, he loved it. Well, not loved yeah. it, but he was. Uh, he was always raising it to us, wasn't he? Like talking about it. Tom Rode was saying, Sonego, wax on, wax on. <laughs> <laughs> Karate Kid references. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great ace there from Sonego. Valenza. Huh? What's the ace count? I don't think there's that many, but it seems like there is. Uh, I think there's a few. But there's, probably a lot of un- us. there's so many unreturnables. That's why I don't think yeah. the ace count is going to be so high. But no. there's been so many first serves gone in and the other players four not been able to... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Only four. You'd expect it to be about 15 each, the way it looks. It's no. And for Rublev to still have a 92% uh, first serve win percentage. What is that? Sorry? 92% off his first God. serve. It's just ridiculous. Yeah, that is. I feel like the benchmark's got to be about... If you have a good match, match, 75% is the number I would look at, or 70%. But 92, that's just crazy. He's had nine service games. Is that right? Or eight service games? Well, he's held all of them, isn't it? So nine. Yeah. I think it's eight because he broke once. Yeah, five. No, Sonego's not broken. No, Rublev broke Sonego. Oh, okay, of course. Yeah, Yeah, sorry. Eight. It's you with your maths this yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Mate, we're both counters. I don't know how. <laughs> oh, can't dear. add up. I know, mate. We can I do that count. one. There you go. The ace counts higher now. It's six. Wait. So there you go. It's had six aces. Rublev, five. Oh, it's got... These stats are all over the place. Oh, that's a good... Oh, what Ooh. a good volley there. Lethal, yet again. Yeah. Is it getting towards desperate times yet? Calls for desperate measures or not? Not yet, mate. 30-15. And uh, I know you said at the beginning of the set, the best chance for Sonego is a tie break. The way it's going, mate, it's, I reckon we could be seeing one. Both players right. are serving so well right now. But are we going to be getting to business time anytime soon? Well, I think... Uh... Oh, look at that for a great forehand from Sonego. Mate, I'm going to call it now. First to five wins the set. 
Yeah, there was what well, the first of five. First of five in this in this set wins it wins it. Magic five. Yeah, I think the five is going to be the big number, and well, most likely is. it could be a five four Sonego. No, sorry, uh, what would it be? It would be five four Sonego if they hold serve. Yeah, and then you think uh, he's going to break be a five, and then I reckon he'll potentially break him. Yeah. Ooh. But if he doesn't, nerve. if he gets broken, <laughs> then he'll lose the whole match. Wow, what a return that was from Rublev. He just puts Needs... it exactly where he wants it every time. He just keeps serving out to that forehand, though. Rublev's dimensions of the court. He knows every single angle, I feel. Yeah. yeah. Such a seasoned player at such a young age. So... Still 40 30. Still got one more opportunity. Great to get serve. And look at that. Holds. Yeah. Just needed that. Another practical ace. <laughs> practical. Practically. Yeah. There was practically an ace. Was it? Did he touch it? You did, yeah. Ah, that's ridiculous. He must have skimmed it. But yeah, with the business end, there was like uh, every time I think of the business end, I always get this song in my head, which was done by a band called The Flight of the Concords. But uh, I don't know if no one's if no one knows the flight of the Concords and uh, right. they haven't watched it's a comedy Sounds like series. a war song. Is it a war song or something? No, no. If you've not seen the flight of the Concords, they're like a New Zealand band. Who they're two guys and they're like uh, both. It's like a comedy show where they have songs they've made up and they actually have albums out and stuff as well. But they do a song called Business Time. So if you go onto YouTube and search Business Time flight of the concords the chorus for that is what i hear every time it gets the business the business end of the set and if you don't so. want to leave us and go off of off the stream ben's going to sing it for you right now yeah it goes it's business it's business time <laughs> that's how the <laughs> chorus goes <laughs> so that's what happened but if you want to see how uh how good that impersonation of that uh, track was later you can go and check it out after the match I'll put a link in the uh, in the description. Yeah, and also Ben's going to be uh, doing his, bringing his own single out for Christmas. Hopefully, get it to Christmas number one. Yeah, that's it. Well, I'm actually might do a, a little treat for you, depending on who wins this uh, this final. I might be making a a little song, a little. Uh... Yeah, you're saying you might be doing a little <clears throat> Vienna song. That'll be yeah. That'll be a I nice might start. do a little a little Vienna song for for everybody just to commemorate this uh, great week of tennis we've had so yeah for you guys is... who don't know ben loves his music as well he's very into his music so uh, it's a good opportunity for you to combine the both yeah mate gonna try Me, on the other hand zero musical ability whatsoever <sighs> cheers guys desperate times it's four three and Desperado. the desperado's out <laughs> oh need that lime though mate i need a lime it's no lime Get a bit of smoothie, mate, and put it in. I mean, I'm not sure if there's a lemon out there. It might it's nearly as good. Oh, and Rublev is going to be hoping he can push this into the business end. Serves out to the backhand. So now you go. Oh, he just pushes it into the Rublev forehand. God, that Rublev forehand cross court. Yeah, he's doing well. Wow, he's Sonego having to stand literally two oh, meters behind the baseline. This is a good point so far. Oh, Rublev. Oh, he forces Sonego into the error. Oh, it's just huge, man. Rublev is so good. He really <laughs> is that good. <laughs> Thomas Rock saying, we will get JG to sing someday. <laughs> One day we will. Oh, I don't know about that. Oh, Mel is saying, I need to sing in Russian first. Oh, God. Don't make it, make it more difficult for me. So Rublev looking pretty confident yet again. And he's still at 92% on that first serve. Oh, that's a good kick second serve. Oh, but yeah. a great return. Really good. 15. Caught him off guard. He wasn't wasn't expecting it. I think he's going to have to do it. He's going to have to try I think the hit. ball was still spinning when he returned it. You'll see better yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah, it was like moving all around the ball and he just didn't know Fired what off. to do. Horrible first. one to have to try. It's good. That. It's missing a few first serves now. Yeah. So must be all them all them long matches he's had up in the build up. Yeah. It's taking its toll. Here we go. 
they're trying to be going backhand to backhand. It's just the way it's going to go this uh, for this point. It's a big point in this game. Oh, and Rublev opens up the forehand, and look, it's instant defensive mode. And then it's out. hitting it so clean, though. Yeah. It really is. It's just Rublev, like you say, it's just never ending. Thomas saying, uh, <clears throat> Shapa needs to do a Russian rap single. Does he know Russian? <laughs> What's that? He's got a lot of obsession with Russian uh, singing and rapping at the moment. It's because of Rublev, mate. He's inspiring everyone. I know. Oh, ooh, it was close that. He That's went for it. That's definitely in, mate. Is it not in? No, nah, it was out, mate. Mate, I'd Wide. love to see that. how close that was. Looked like a really good shot. Just out, but definitely out. I think you'll get to see it on the replay. Yeah. So, the business end. It's business. It's business oh, time. Yeah. So. So, your money time. Time. what do you reckon? Your guess is as good as mine. The way it looks is Rublev looks formidable. No, no, you can't even get in on one of his serves. We just need to see a Sonego hold. Right. It's a tire break, isn't it? It could be a tire break. I think Sin Rublev's going to up his level in this game, though. You watch. Yeah. I've I got a feeling mean. there's going to be. He's got like, a little bit in the tank yet, doesn't he? I think he's going to suddenly start pushing it towards like the weak spots. Of, uh, and he's really going to try and fire him in. Look, you can see he's dancing on the uh, baseline now, Rublev. He's ready. This is his time. <laughs> he's dancing. Oh, he was doing a little jig or something, wasn't he? Oh, look at that deep return. Now he's really going for his force the error. Oh, and here we go. Love 30. If he gets oh. broken here, it's curtains, isn't it? It pretty much is curtains. I can't Rublev's see him breaking. Rublev's been so well. Surely not. He's, he can't bottle that. Although, nice. funny enough, we saw it against City Pass when they played. He was, I think, serving out for the match. He ended up losing, getting broken, sorry. Yeah. City Pass held and then broke him again to take the match. I forget oh, where that was now. Look at the returns. <sighs> and it's, it's love 40. And it's all unravelling. For the Italian stallion. Yeah, and quick as well. That return is just so good. Sonego didn't move his feet. He needed to drop back drop back after the first serve. If he manages to hold from here. We've seen crazier things this year, Bev. Oh, but he's missed his first serve, and that's never a good sign. Here we go. Rublev waiting with bated breath. Oh, he's gone to the backhand side. Oh, good shot there by Sonego. And he Lovely. saved one of them. Wow. Oh gosh, that, that was good. That was. See how quickly he backpedaled to hit with his forehand, though. Was like on his the... stroke looks so much like Federer, do you not think? Yeah, that forehand for sure. Yeah. The way he like tiptoed backwards to just make sure he could hit his forehand there. Sometimes it's yeah. easier, though. Do you not think he like gains some more momentum, allows you to sort of put it more where you want it? I don't think he has a choice. It comes back so quick. You don't know what he's doing. <laughs> it's just literally just... Oh, he another has second serve. 0.1 second to make a decision on what he's going to do next. Oh, Rublev hits into the backhand. It's wide and he exposed the weak backhand side. Oh, that's disappointing, isn't it? Looks like it's over in a flash. And uh, he showed a lot of promise in the match. Well, that's annoying. Well, yeah, it's good. Rublev's too good, though. <laughs> As he takes a bite of He's his banana. He's qualified now virtually for the, eight, for, the, for the finals in London. Can he hold his serve, though? It's not a break unless you consolidate. Yeah, midfield master asking there, does he qualify for London if he wins today? I believe so. Yeah. So we'll be seeing Rublev there. What do you guys make of his chances to take the title in London? That would be amazing if he does that. Yeah. We'll put it past him, mate. He's won more titles than anyone so far. Well, yeah, don't forget, uh, he's on... Well, think of the, the... What's the points he's on? He's on 3,429 points. Is that live, though, as of now? 
So I think he gets another fight. I don't know if that's live as of the beginning of the week. Yeah, I think it is. Okay. So I think he'll be up to 3,900, and I can't see anyone overtake. Unless Berrettini wins Paris, but I can't see that happening. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty well, certain. Well, Berrettini, mate, he looks like he's retired. I don't see him playing tennis <laughs> at all anymore. I don't know what he's doing. And that's arguably... I'm pretty or... sure he's entered uh, Paris, though, right, Berrettini? I or think is he so, not yeah. in there either? I think he is. Oh, the crowd are really getting up for this. It's the final. But if Berrettini has a really game. good run in Paris, then I think he would qualify, would he not? Who? Berrettini. If he had a good run in Paris, there's a good chance he can qualify, right? If he wins it. Yeah. <laughs> That's the only only way I think it can happen. I think. So here we are. Rublev serving for the championship. And his fifth one this year. First oh, serve. No, that's not yeah. a good start, is it? Unreturnable. Brilliant. I First think Berrettini serve. can overtake Schwartzman, actually. But Schwartzman, you'd expect to do okay in the tournament as well. Oh, look at these power serves. Oh, it's into the net. 15 all. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Ben. I want to hear your commentary for these last few points. I know. What did you guys make of the final then so far? Have you enjoyed it? For me, it's been okay. I think we've seen spells of really good tennis, but um, it'd been nicer to see maybe a bit of a longer final. Longer rallies, I think, would have been nicer. Yeah. I didn't expect but... both players to come out serving so well, but then credit to them for doing so. Oh, here we go. He's forcing it into and he's running around the backhand. He's opening the whole court up, but Rublev's still choosing to hit to him. They both run him around their backhands now. Great shot there from Sanago. Yeah, really good. That's what we need to see. Mate, he's realized it's all or nothing now, and the all crowd's really nothing. getting behind him. That was a brilliant shot down the line, yeah. wasn't it? Forced him. Yeah. Putting Rublev under pressure. You need to have you need to put him on the run. Oh, look at that. Got Just got the return back. And oh. Rublev attacks it. He's at the net. Good hands. Oh, too good. And we're saying Rublev's not very good at the net. Well, Proved made us look that stupid. <laughs> <laughs> what do very we know, safe, Ben? Very safe hands. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> Great. Took all the pace off of it. Mele is saying it's been the greatest GTL commentary so far. Wow. That's how he's being sarcastic, but we're getting better all the time. Oh, he's missed the first serve just. Good net catch by the ball boy. Rublev serves into the backhand side. Oh no, it's into the net. And we've got our first. Match oh, he's gonna be so disappointed point. with that. He's gonna be so disappointed. That was it was second a, serve. It wasn't even a very good serve. It was just a slow one. He caught him, caught him out with the slow second serve. And he says, Rublev is so humble. And uh, I think he means classy. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Good first serve. The return's long. Yeah. And Andre Rublev is ATP Vienna champion. Yeah, fair play to Rublev. He deserves it, doesn't he? He's been so good and... Yeah. Congratulations also to Jax and Melez for picking uh, yeah. Rublev to win the tournament before it began. That's a really Incredible. big pick. Obviously, there's so many great players in this tournament. We had Djokovic, uh, you had Medvedev, Team, Sitapas. There's all there. Yep. And uh, Rublev was the one who came out on top. Yeah. Kind of an unexpected winner. But then if you look at what he's done in the, the, the whole of this year, is it really that unexpected? I don't know. I don't think so. Maybe... But it's a sign of things to come. And maybe in 2021, that's going to be Andre Rublev's year. Who knows? It could well be. Five well, I don't titles. know. You could say 2020 has been his year, right? Ah, this is his year on the ATP stage, on the like the 250s, the 500s. Now we're going to see Andre Rublev, Grand Slam champion. Is that coming? Maybe. Maybe. It all depends, doesn't it? I think um, it'll be interesting to see how Federer comes back. He's hopefully coming back in January. And then you've got Nadal playing some of the best tennis he's ever has. And then Djokovic as well just looks formidable. Um, we see how all Federer the, is these three guys back, are still here. It's going to be really tricky for Rublev to sort of penetrate that that little group. 
It's be interesting to see how good Federer is when he comes back, though, because when you first come back, you never just hit the ground running. It's just going to be probably still a few months until he gets back to into full swing. Yep. But, uh, yeah, if you saw him versus Rublev at Australian Open, you'd probably fancy Rublev, to be honest. Chris Mir saying, considering this tournament uh, was described as a mini Grand Slam, the final <laughs> was terrible. <laughs> I mean, yeah, out of all of the players that are in it, 18 from the top 30. And no, then I would have to agree. I don't think the, the final was that amazing, was it? It just no. seemed very quick and over with. The points weren't that exciting. There was a, there was moments of real greatness from both players, actually. But yeah. on the whole grand scheme of things, I think we we watched better matches probably in the semi finals. Yeah, I think you're right. And I think when you've got two players like that, that's the type of match you're ultimately going to get. And it sort of all it turned out to be in the end that final was like if you had Rublev and Sonego met during any other match during the year, that would probably be the same result. It wouldn't yep. matter if it was a final or anything. Rublev's just better than him. Yeah, I think I that's agree. just. I think that's just like the the standing speech actually are speaking for themselves today. And yeah, even though they on, on Sonego, we should give him some praise. I thought he's been amazing yeah. in the tournament. What he did against Djokovic, no one ever saw that coming. No. Um, so yeah, it was just Five. really good. And I don't know. It's getting. Will he be able to do this in in Paris? That's the question. It's interesting. We don't ever like to put stack our chips on people who have just won tournaments. So I probably wouldn't put me, my money on Rublev after this. Is he? Is he? No, I'm talking about Sonego. Oh, Sonego. Uh, he's played a whole week. I wouldn't like to say anybody who's played a whole week of tennis. I still don't stack my chips on that yeah. player doing well in the next tournament because mentally he's going to be pretty tired as well. Yeah, for sure. I've, and you know what happens. You get to the final of one thing. And he could easily lose to Bublik now. That's what yeah. I personally think. Well, we've got some crazy picks actually going on in the chat. I know uh, we'll be doing it later on at six o'clock. So join us for that. Put yeah, Hit yeah. the little bell. Put your notifications on. Don't be late for it because we'll yep. be doing our live uh, selections for the big tournament. And Wild Live there has gone for Chorich to beat Nadal in Paris. <laughs> That's very bold. <laughs> big Chorich fan. But yeah, yeah you, know, you never know. Nightmare. George's been playing some good stuff, but Rafa is Rafa. And uh, anybody uh, go picks against him at their own peril, I think. Well, we've not seen him on hard, have we, for seems like he, about a year. We didn't see him play tennis, but then he came and won the uh, French Open without losing a set. So Yeah, in Rome, he wasn't, wasn't as good, was he? Yeah, but that's, I think different stakes, isn't it, sometimes? I think he'd only just come back. That was his first thing back, wasn't it? Everybody yeah. else had been playing exhibitions. Rafa just got up off his settee at home and was like, oh, I'm going to enter a tournament. Lost to Schwartzman and was like, okay, guess that's enough warm-up to now completely whip everybody at the French Open. So, And in the rain and in the cold. Yeah, yeah. And I'll just stick the link for anyone who wants to... Um join in preparation you've got to just register for the website it's completely free if you want to do that now in preparation for six o'clock that's great uh, and that'll be quite fun just join our little fun league there game to love tennis league i believe it's called gtl and tennis um, league. gtl tennis league and i think we'll wrap it up there thanks guys for watching yep. hope you've enjoyed it we've certainly enjoyed the whole week uh it's been a great tournament andrew rublev is the champion yet again <laughs> and um yeah we'll see you very soon Anything left to say, Ben? No. If you haven't liked the video yet, like the video. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. That's all. We'll see you at six.